I already discussed predicates and quantifier. Let's discuss how we can translate English sentence into logical expressions. First example 16, her statement is every student in the class has studied calculus. First rewrite the sentence for every student in this class that student has studied calculus. Let's use x. So for every student x in the class x has studied calculus. Now we'll use predicate to express this x has studied calculus. Let's see x equals to x has studied calculus. So this statement we can express as for every student that's why for all x cx for all x cx is for every student in this class x has studied calculus so here domain is set of student in the class if domain will be all set of people then we can rewrite for every person x if person x is a student in the class then x has studied calculus here we just add this for every person x so now we'll use another predicate that is s of x s of x is person x is in this class now we can express this statement as for all x s of x implies c of x for all x means for every person x if person x is a student implies x has studied calculus but here we cannot use and if we'll use and then this will be wrong because this statement says all people are student in the class and have studied calculus but here it's not given that all people are student for every person if that person is a student then they have studied calculus but this means all are student and all have studied calculus this is wrong so it's very tricky to use implication and and just try to simplify and which will be appropriate according to sentence so for this sentence for all x s of x implies c of x is correct here we used one variable we can also use two variable let's q x y b student x has studied subject y we can write q x calculus means student x has studied calculus so in place of this c x we can replace q x calculus when domain is set of student in the class so in place of c x we will write q x calculus so it will be for all x q x calculus using two variable now when domain will be set of all people in place of this cx we can write q x calculus so for all x s of x implies q x calculus here i explained in three way if domain is set of student then it will be for all x cx if domain is set of people then it will be for all x s x implies cx if we are using two variable then it will be for all x q x calculus then for all x s of x implies q of x calculus next example 17 use predicate and quantifier to express system specification two statements are given first we'll solve this every mail message larger than 1 mb will be compressed so let's use a predicate like smy is for mail message m is larger than y megabyte where x has the domain of all mail messages and y is a positive real number so you can write sm1 means mail message m is larger than 1 megabyte then another predicate c of m means mail message m will be compressed so now you can express this statement as for all m s of m1 implies c of m for every mail message s of m1 means mail message m is larger than one megabyte then it can be compressed so if size is more than one mb then it can be compressed and we will use universal quantifier as it's written every so here logical expression is for all m s of m1 implies c of m now next statement first write the predicates 
so let a of u for user u is active and where u has the domain of all user then s of n x denotes network link n is in state x so n has a domain of all network link and x has a domain of all possible state of network link and our statement is if a user is active at least one network link will be available if a user means it's about single user so we'll use there exist now if a user is active so user u is active for its domain is u so there exist u then a of u user u is active implies s of n x so s of n and x is state of network here it's available we can write available and for both domain are different for s n x domain is n so you can write there exist n so you found the logical expression as there exist u a of u means user u is active implies there exist n there are some n s of n available here both domains are different that's why we used two existential quantifier one quantifier for u one quantifier for n next example 18 consider these statements the first two are called premises and the third is called the conclusion the entire set is called an argument first statement all lions are fierce second some lions do not drink coffee third some fierce creature do not drink coffee let p of x equals to x is a lion q of x equals to x is a fierce and r of x equals to x drinks coffee with the statements then assuming that domain consists all creature express the statement in argument using quantifier and this predicate px qx and rx so let's solve this first all lions are fierce fierce means aggressive so p of x is x is a lion and q of x is x is a fierce and here it's written all so it will be for all x p of x implies q of x now second statement some lions do not drink coffee some so it will be there exist x x is for creature then x is a lion so p of x do not drink coffee here x drink coffee is r of x do not drink coffee means negation of r of x so and negation of r of x so here logical expression will be there exist x p of x and negation of r of x if x is a lion then x do not drink coffee here just mark we cannot write implication next some fierce creature do not drink coffee some fierce creature so it will be there exist so x is a fierce it's qx do not drink coffee it's negation of rx so qx and negation of rx it's for the third statement some fierce creature do not drink coffee the second statement even the third statement cannot expressed by implication will use and First the region if we will write implication then it will be true when x is not a lion. In case of implication it will be false if p is true q is false rest it will be true like both are true it will be true if p false q true it will be true if p false q false it will be true. So it is saying about these two cases. So when it is not lion also it will be true. So there exist x p x implies negation of r x is true as long as there is at least one creature that is not lion. Even if every lion drinks coffee. So this statement means if it is a lion then it don't drinks coffee. But here it's given some lion don't drinks coffee. Similarly for the third statement we cannot use the implication we cannot write like this there will be and Next example 19 consider the statement of which first three are premises 
and the fourth is a valid conclusion. First statement, all hummingbirds are richly colored. Then second, no large bird live on honey. Third, birds that do not live on honey are dull in color. Then fourth, hummingbirds are small. Let P of X is for X is a hummingbird. Then Q of X is for X is large. R of X is for X lives on honey. Then S of X is for X is richly colored. So this is our P of X, Q of X, R of X and S of X. Now for statement all hummingbirds are richly colored. All. So it will be universal quantifier. For all X hummingbirds. X is a hummingbird. So P of X are richly colored. Richly colored is S of X. So implies S of X. So first statement can be expressed as for all X, P X implies S of X. All hummingbirds are richly colored. Next second statement, no large birds live on honey. X is large that is for Q X. Then live on honey that is for R X. First large bird lives on honey. So it will be Q X and R X. But here statement is no large bird. So that's why we will write there exist X negation. Negation of there exist X, Q X and R X. So there are no large bird who lives on honey. So we can also write for all X negation of Q X and R X. Both are same. No means not a single bar. So for all X negation of Q X and R X. If it is a large bar then they don't live in honey. Both are same. Here I have written this. You can also write for all X negation of Q X and R X. Next bird that do not live in honey are dull in color. So birds that do not live in honey here X lives in honey. That is our Rx. So negation of Rx then are dull in color. Here X is richly color. That is S of X. Dull in color means negation of S of X. Birds that do not live on honey are dull in color. So it's like implication. There will be implication. And it's about all. So we'll write for all X. Negation of Rx implies negation of S of X. So if X is a bar and that do not live on honey, then they are dull in color. Next, hummingbirds are small. X is a hummingbird that is P of X. Then X is large that is Q of X. So X is small that will be negation of Q of X. And it's about all. That's why for all X, if it is a hummingbird, then they are small. So P of X implies, yeah, this is correct. So for all X, P X implies negation of Q X. It's not practice to identify where we'll use and and where we'll use the implication. Okay. In next lecture, I will discuss nested quantifier. If today lecture is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.